Hello everyone. Today we are going to study a new chapter that is clock. This is very important chapter. So let's see the questions based on clock. So this is the type of question that at eight and nine p.m. at what time exactly it will be thirty degree. So two times you have to calculate. Okay. So thirty degree, they ask you. So I told you how to. Eight means what? Eight means from twelve. You are calculating eight, so you will find how much? Two forty degree, right? So two forty degree minus what degree they told ask you? Thirty degrees. Thirty by two by eleven. So after doing this, what you get? You get one hundred ten into two. That means four twenty by eleven. 420 by 11. You can solve it. You will get the minutes. At what minute it will be? Zero. 88. Zero two is remaining. This comes out to be three. This comes out to be eight. Means at 8 p.m. 38 minutes. Two by 11 is the time when this will be. Exactly thirty degree. So you can find out by your own. This is eight. This is thirty eight. Somewhere it seems thirty, right? So this how we, you can even imagine. And one more, I told you that two times it appear thirty degree. It make two times ninety degree also sixty degree whatever two times. So for second time, forty plus thirty by two by eleven. So two seventy into two. That comes out to be what five forty by eleven. You can solve this. Five forty by eleven. This comes out to be forty-four and hundred ninety-nine four nine one. Okay, so forty-nine minutes. Level by one. It's eight p.m. Forty-nine minutes will be another time when this will be thirty degree. So you can check it by your own by making clock. You can find out. Right, exactly this happens. Okay, so that's how you need to solve this type of question. Let's move towards next question. Okay, so there is in this question we are asked to find the angle between five thirty p.m. Okay, so you have to first draw box like this. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so five thirty means five thirty means your our hand is on five and thirty means this is here. Okay, so tell me one thing: when this five thirty comes, when this five thirty comes, this will move little ahead, right? In this direction it will move, and uh, exactly this angle will reduce. Okay, so you know that there is an angle between two. Two point that is between these two is how much thirty degree thirty degree we calculated right how three uh, sixty divided by twelve that is thirty degree between two hours so this is five thirty so five thirty means this is this end this is this end so this moves here so we know that our hand in one minute our hand means uh, moves how much one, half degree right in one minute our hand moves half degree. So in thirty minutes, how much degree our hand move? It will make move fifteen degree, fifteen degree in this side, right? In this direction, it will move. Okay, this is your clockwise direction, right? Clockwise direction, it will move. Just imagine for a while. So this will move towards this direction. So this is thirty degree, but because this our hand moved little ahead, moved little ahead by how much angle? Fifteen degree angle. So the real angle at this time between these two is thirty degrees. Must be between need to be there, but because this move fifteen degree uh, close because of uh, the movement of our hand in last thirty minutes, so it will move our hand move will move thirty fifteen degree. So thirty minus fifty means fifteen degree. So the difference between these two will be fifteen degree. Okay, this is your circle or clock, right?
this is your one, this is your two, this is your four, this is your five, this is your six, this comes out to be seven, this comes out to be eight, ten, and eleven. Okay. So you can see that this is the entire clock and there are two types of hand one is hour hand and another is minute hand what is minute hand minute hand is the hand which rotate at a faster speed and hour hand basically take more time to rotate right or it it uh, rotate at a very less speed whereas the minute hand rotate at a very fast speed and it complete the circle at a very less time okay this is you are very clear now so the minute hand in one hour how many degrees this minute hand cover this cover 360 degree means in one hour minute hand covers how much 360 degree so one hour means what 60 minutes so in 60 minute if it is covering 360 degree so in one minute how much degree it will cover in one minute in one minute this minute hand cover how much 6 degree right so in one minute this minute hand will cover 6 degree right so you are you, means this thing is familiar to you in one minute this will cover 6 degree right so that means in 5 minutes how many degrees it will cover in 5 minutes this minute hand will cover 30 degree 30 degree means we have seen this this is 5 minute gap this is 5 minute there is 60 minute so the difference between 2 12 or 1 or 1 or 2 or anything is what 30 degree this is also 30 degree this is also 30 degree right this 30 30 30 is constant everywhere apart from that what comes next what comes our hand so you know that the entire our hand this our hand complete the entire circle in how many hours 12 hours in 12 hour it complete 360 degree right so i can convert this hour into minutes that is 60 by multiplying it by 60 right so 360 degree it is covering that means this is minute so our hand will cover what it comes out to be 720 minutes equal to 360 that means in one minute, one minute, our hand will cover how many, how much degree? Half degree, half degree. So you are very now you know that in one minute our hand will cover half degree, right? This this thing you know right now, and you know that minute hand cover in one uh, minute it will cover six degree, right? This is thing, and the difference between two numbers or two consecutive any number is thirty degree. So this is how you need to understand this concept on the basis of it we will find out various things now so suppose if there is a time 4 15 pm and they ask you find the angle between minutes and an hour hand so 4 15 means 4 is somewhere here and 15 is somewhere here right so you have to find this angle but you know that when this will be at 4 this will be exactly at 4 uh, Right, when this uh, minute hand is on 12, then it is exactly on 4, but when it start moving ahead, this will also move ahead, right? So this angle will be something different. Otherwise, what you have to do, you, what you had did in this case, 3 and 4, the difference between these are 30 degree as we find out, this is not, this will not be 30, it will be more than that. And how we will going to calculate, let's see. So we know that, 15 minutes it came ahead so our hand in 15 minutes in one minute our hand cover how many degrees half degree so in 15 minutes it will come somewhere here ahead so in one minute if it cover half degree so in 15 minutes how many degrees it had covered right so it had covered seven and a half degree ahead right and this from this now so this is 30 and this already moves some 7 degree ahead so the so the exact uh, difference will be what 37 degree and half okay so this how you need to find let's see the questions based on this concept very simple chapter it is not need to worry
whatever i am saying whatever the shortcuts i gave you just do that much it's more than enough so here is the first question the angle between 430 pm or this okay the minute and an hour and let's make this right this is 430 so first draw a clock let's draw a fast you can draw it within 10 to 15 second not more than that anyone can draw it right after that 430 so 4 is this 30 is this so tell me when this is 430 this is your hour hand this is your minute hand right so minute hand will be at 30 but this 4 will exactly not at 4 it had reduced some distance it had traveled some distance inward so this angle will reduce okay so actually this angle need to be 60 degree but because this has traveled little bit because at 430 so we can find out we know this at 1 minute our hand travel half degree right so in 15 minute how many degrees it had traveled not 15 it is 30 minutes it had traveled in half degree travel in 1 minute so 30 minutes Will travel 15 degree, so 60 it need to be. But as it traveled ahead 15 degree, so actually it had traveled some distance. So 60 minus 15, that is, it had traveled 45 degrees. Means exactly this difference between both the time will be what 45 degrees. Okay, so this is how you need to find out the answer. So now it is us at 6:20 p.m. This is your clock. make it fast okay you can do this question within 1 minute not more than that even less than 1 minute okay so just in order to solve the question you can draw this clock at 620 right so 6 is this hour hand and 20 is this minute hand right so we know that at 6 pm this will be at 6 our hand will be at 6 but as 20 minute passed it had already moved some degree here right so we have to calculate that so we know that this angle is what this angle is 60 degree but it had traveled some distance more in 20 minutes so we know that our hand travel half degree in 1 minute so 20 minutes so in 20 minutes how many degrees this our hand travel 10 degree extra right so 60 need to be but because it is 620 it already travel certain distance this distance is what this distance is 10 degree more so 10 degree more means 60 plus 10 that is 70 degree so the difference between both the angle will be 70 degree okay thank you